The story of our kingdom has been an exciting one for so many years. This has largely been ascribed to the charisma of the Obi, His Royal Majesty, Obi Emmanuel Ephesoma II, who ascended the throne in 1959 and is regarded as one of the longest serving monarchs in Nigeria. At His Majesty's 65th coronation anniversary, politicians, captains of industry, clerics across the country took turns to pay homage to the monarch. The monarch appreciated God for the success he's recorded so far in his kingdom as a traditional ruler. I preach the gospel of being your brother's keeper amongst my fellow traditional rulers, and you can see that turning out in great numbers. So uh, that's what, uh, what I represent. I represent an embodiment of truth, I represent an embodiment of hard work. Trust the Eberi Emir Okori and Oneche, the tenth King Apollos II, regarded as a bridge builder and a campaigner of peace to make appearance at occasions such as this in a show of solidarity of traditional institutions. He described the celebrant as an accommodating monarch. For someone to be on the throne for 65 years, call for wonderful celebration and great celebration. And uh, I wish him a wonderful stay on the throne more. I wish him good health and I wish his kingdom peaceful and I wish God to continue to give him more long life the remaining years that he had to stay on earth. At this point in time, it's to pray that God gives him strength and grace to finish well, to establish his legacy. There were words of exhortation on qualities of a leader by the Bishop of Anglican Diocese of Agbo, Bishop Godfrey Ekbenisi. His Royal Majesty, Obi Emmanuel Ephesemo, the second is the 17th Obi of our kingdom. In our Oyibo, Godfrey Izekwe, NT News.